students welcome to you all for the next session of design of machine element course today's session will be on selection of wealth from manufacturers catalog after this session students will be able to select wheel drive from manufacturers catalog while selecting the belt from manufacturers catalog the essential information required or some of the factors or parameters are to be considered are there is type of driving unit driven machine then operational hours per day or service condition power to be transmitted input speed or output speed approximate center distance space available and load condition these information or parameters are required while selecting wheel from manufacturers catalog how to select the belts from catalog as per bureau of indian standards and some of the manufacturing companies some standard practices are adopted while designing it and some standard data which is available in data book and codes that we are going to refer while selecting the belts from the catalog now we are in first step while selecting we belt from the catalog the select correction factor according to the service first step is select correction factor according to the service but this service is totally depends on or this factor correction factor depends on the type of driven machine then type of service whether a light duty medium duty heavy duty or extra heavy duty then type of driven machine and type of driving machine unit or a machine and then hours of service required per day whether 0 to 10 hours 10 to 16 hours or 16 to 24 hours based on that again here types of driving units again for normal load condition or heavy duty load condition whether which type of drives are used or drives are used to run the different machines by using well we well drive based on this in first step we have to select the correction factor suppose drive is a suppose centrifugal pump for light duty application and this service is required 10 to 16 hours and this you know the which is run by a motor which is running at a normal torque suppose then 1.1 year is the correction factor that is fa now we are in next step what we have to do we have to find out the design power why design power because it is required to select the belt cross section now here as per the bureau of indian standard or is code the different cross sections belts are available that is a b c d e and z generally z cross section is uh, type of cross section is not preferred a b c d e are preferred now here by using this correction factor based on the service condition and transmitted power means actual power transmitted so this service fact uh, correction factor fa based on service multiplied by this transmitted power it gives design power by using this design power on x axis here you will find this is the design power by using this design power and the speed of the faster shaft or driving pulley here we can locate the cross section of the belt suppose if it's a 10 and then speed is 200 the it comes in between here that means c is the cross section in this fashion we can locate the point in the area of this a b c d e that means this is the cross section of the wheel belt then here step number 3 what we have to do after selecting the belt cross section or belt section from this belt section we have to select the recommended pitch diameter of smaller pulley 
Now suppose B is the selected section and for this B what is the recommended piece circle diameter of the smaller pulley is 200. So let us take small d is equal to 200. That means based on the section we can select here piece diameter of smaller pulley by referring this table. And this is recommended pitch diameter of smaller pulley. The next step we are going to find out pitch diameters of the pulley. Once we know the small d based on the section from the last slide then we have to find out the speed ratio. Speed ratio means input speed upon output speed. It may be given in problem statement as per the application for the selection of V belt. By using this expression, we can find out the capital D. After calculating this or determining this value of D, what we have to do? We have to refer the preferred pitch diameter chart here. And by referring this for section B, which one is the standard one, that nearer to that value, we have to select this capital D. That means now in step number four, we can calculate the capital D and then select preferred pitch diameter by referring this table. Then here in next step, find out the pitch length of the belt. So in earlier session, we have already seen in basics of belt drives how to find out the belt length for open as well as the cross, how much is the power transmission capacity, limiting tension ratio. Now here this is the pitch length of the belt applicable to the open belt drive. By using this expression, we can find out the pitch length. Then what we have to do, again according to the Bureau of Indian Standard Code, this data is available for prepared pitch length for different sections. That is Z, A, B, C, D, E. After calculating this length, what we have to do, select the prepared pitch length from this table. After selecting this, again we have to use the same, the selected value we have to put here. Now suppose, take the example, B is the section, our calculated value by using this expression is suppose 1400. Now it lies in between 7, uh, 1370 and 1560. So what we have to do, nearer to that value, maybe this side or this side that we have to select, this is our prepared pitch length. That means we are going to change this value. After selecting this prepared pitch length, what we have to do? Find out the correct center distance. And how to find out it? Again, use the same expression. Put the value of this L prepared pitch length. D already known that is larger pulley diameter, small pulley diameter. Find out this C. This is correct center distance. Then in next step, what we have to do? Determine the correction factor Fc for pitch length. Now here we have a cross section of the belt in uh, step 2. Then we have a pitch length and cross section. From this pitch length and cross section, suppose belt section is B and pitch length is 1210. So what you will get here? 0.87 is the correction factor Fc. So by referring this table, we can find out the FC. It is based on the cross section and pitch length of the belt. Then in next step, what we have to do? We have to find out or select correction factor for the arc of contact. To select this correction factor from this table, the before that we have to find out the arc of contact or ang angle of lap for this smaller pulley. Now we are alpha s is the arc of contact or angle of wrap that is 180 minus 2 sin square d minus d by 2c. This is for open belt drive. By using this expression we can find out this alpha angle of wrap. And from this angle of wrap what we have to do find out this correction factor here. Suppose calculated value is 160 angle of wrap 160. So what is this value? 0.95 is the correction factor for angle of wrap fd. The minimum arc of contact should be 120 for v belt drive. It should not be less than 120. Otherwise, it is going to lose its frictional grip or that property. Because of that, it is transmitting more power than the flat belt drive. 
Then in step number eight, what we have to do? Again, as per the code, power ratings of single belts for different cross sections are given in data book. That is for Z cross section A, B, C, D, E, and these uh, value of these power ratings depends on speed of the faster shaft, pitch diameter of the smaller pulley, and the speed ratio. By using these two values for this section, we will get the power rating. But incremental power rating is also that we have to find out by using this speed ratio. Now, suppose take the example. Now we are in the chart only power ratings in kilowatt that is PR for a section belt is shown. Similarly, for different sections, power rating charts are available in data book. By referring this here, you will get this is the PCD of the pulley. This is the RPM speed of the faster shaft. We have to find out here the power rating. You will get this value. Then second year additional power increment. This is based on the speed ratio that we have to add this incremental power in this value. Then you will get the PR. Now here in last step of this selection of UV belt from manufacturer's catalog. What we have to do, we have to find out number of belts and which is given by the expression P into FA upon PR into FC into FD, where P is the actual power transmitted by the belt. It is in given application. Then PR, power rating of single belt selected in step number 8 based on speed of the faster pulley, then pitch diameter of smaller pulley and the speed ratio. Then FA, FA is the correction factor based on the service. In first slide, we have already seen it. Then FC, FC is the correction factor based on the pitch length. And FD is the correction factor based on the arc of contact. By putting all these values, we will get the value of number of belts. And at the last, we have to designate the belt. The V belt is designated as the cross section followed by the nominal pitch length along with symbol LP. Now suppose V belt cross section is B and pitch length is 1210 mm, then it is designated as B, this is cross section, 1210 pitch length and after that LP is written, B1210 LP is the designation. In this fashion, we can use different steps here to select the beds from manufacturing catalog. Thank you. The expressions and data which is taken from Vivi Bandari's book, I am thankful to him. If you have any query, please contact me at 989046679 or my email address pbkushare at the rate kkwag.edu.in.